We've got a trade alert, everybody. We've got a trade alert in the no. NBA. Who is involved? What's going to happen? This is news to us. This is from Woe. Jadrian Warjanowski is the NBA insider uh, for ESPN. This is what he has tweeted. Oh, wait a minute now. The, Sa- the Detroit Pistons are trading DeLon Wright to the Kings for Corey Joseph and two second-round picks. So Corey mm-hmm. Joseph, the Kings uh, free agent from a couple of years ago, has been dealt to the Detroit pick- Pistons. Instant thoughts as the Kings are involved in a trade. It's sad. I can, I'm a big Corey Joseph fan. Listen, you know, there might it might be a mixed bag of feelings out there in, in the Kings universe of, of Corey Joseph, but uh, he is the ultimate professional, I think, defensively what he has been able to do. He hasn't had the best season. He started out with a back injury, but I think if you were ever to isolate him on a camera and just watch him defensively, Mitch, you can attest to it, he does all all the dirty work, very little praise for what he does and what how he impacts the game. Not a lot of people see just because it's hard to recognize those defensive plays consistently. So I wish Corey nothing but the best. It's been a pleasure to cover him. But, you know, that's kind of the nature of the business, isn't it, Mitch? Yeah, it's, uh, Corey is one of those players, no question about it. Corey is one of those players that teammates love him mm-hmm. because they know he's going to give it his all. He's going to go out on defensive end, even if he scores two points or three points or even don't shoot the ball, he's going to give it to you on that end because he's just a veteran guard, uh, you know, hampered by a lot of injuries. Sometimes he'll, you know, it look like he can't make it up there on the court, but he finds a way to do it. And um, I know the Kings fans are going to be sad about this loss, uh, but he's he's such a great, uh, uh, great teammate. Uh, we wish him the best. And, uh, you know, the, the NBA is, is nothing but a business. And, and you got to continue to keep going from there. You know, I can't help but think, and, and Mitch, I don't know if you think the same way, but I, I always, uh, in moments like this, injuries, trades, I, I start thinking mm-hmm. about kind of the player aspect of it. And we talked in mm-hmm. the pregame, Coes, about, you know, these these are people. They're not commodities, and so they have families. It's difficult. But, Mitch, they just won this game. It was a great win for right. them, especially after the loss in Atlanta to come out and kind of self-correct. And this is their fourth win in five games. And they walk back into the locker room and they're trying to enjoy this. And they immediately get the news that one of their teammates, one of the, the great ones, is is leaving the locker room. I just can't think of the mood in the locker room right now. It's going to be a difficult couple days. Yeah, it certainly yeah, it's is. Gonna be, okay. yeah. Go ahead, Mitch. Yes. No, no. Yeah, I think it's going to be real. Re, yes, I think it's going to be real difficult because Corey is just such a, a fan favorite and a teammate. Uh, uh, they love him. They love him in the locker room. He does so much for the team. And I'm just sad that he's going to the Detroit Pistons. Jesus. Could he at least, <laughs> could at least go to a contender? Now, I now. Mean, I, listen, I, I'm just saying, I know how he feels when he's going to go to the Detroit Pistons. Like, oh my God, are you serious? Cold weather. Ugh. <laughs> Man, just we wish him the best. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> hey, Darren, I know this is strange timing and you can't confirm or deny, but just what has Corey Joseph meant to this team over the last year and a half and to you personally uh, with his veteran leadership? Um, you know, I just told him um, he was he was he was great for us and, and helping me, um, you know, continue to develop as a player and just little things that that you can really do. Um, funny thing is he's. He, He's kind of helped me with my post game a little bit. Uh, you know, I told him he's he's made me a, a better uh, better defender on the ball. Um, you know, just learning little ins and outs, how to get through screens, uh, things like that. When when you because when you have to guard the best players, you know, night in night out, you know, that's something that you have to continue to get better at. But uh, just his veteran presence. Uh, you know, he's a guy that's that's won a championship. Um, you know, he's been in he's been in big time games. Uh, you know, he's played he's played a role in all on all those teams and. Uh, he was definitely good for us and just continuing, you know, for us and the young guards that he's been around, uh, you know, just just for us to learn from him was definitely good. Definitely great for us. Hey, Darren, um, just back to Corey for a second. Was it was a little odd not to see him out there and then kind of show up right at the bench to be able to play tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Harrison had told me about had told me something right before introductions um, and then I hadn't realized that I hadn't seen Corey warming up. So. Um, you know, that, that type of thing, those type of things happen. Um, you know, uh, my second year, we, uh, we traded for Harrison, like something like that happened right before the game. So, uh, those, those things happen. Those things definitely happen. You know, obviously we're playing basketball, but at the end of the day, you have to remember that, that this is a business and, and those things happen. So, um, I mean, he's, he's someone that, you know, I'll still, you know, be able to call and talk to and things like that. Um, 
But like I said, it's, it's a business at the end of the day and, and things like that happen all the time. Yeah, and I hope you don't mind me asking, uh, DeLon Wright, he's heading back to Northern California. He played uh, community college basketball here before he went to uh, play at Utah. Is there anything that you know about him? He's a big guard. Uh, it looked like he played both positions. Uh, so he's a uh, point guard. Yeah, yeah, DeLon. Um, so actually, um, D-Wade, when D-Wade had his camp, uh, this was last last summer. Um, was it last summer? It was after my after my second year, I, I believe. Um, and Delon was there, so that's someone that I was I was around for a little bit. And uh, I think Delon might have been at Cobes camp too, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't remember. But he was definitely at D Wade's camp. Uh, so that's someone that I mean, I've watched his game. You know, real herky jerky guard. Um, he you know, has a ball on the string. Uh, someone like you said, someone that can play both both uh, both both guard positions. So I mean. For us, it definitely be exciting uh, to play with another guard. And like I said, it's part of the business. But, you know, when he gets here, it's, you know, what we welcome guys with open arms. Tough time of the year right now. You guys can hear me, yeah? You know, it's all, all this stuff going on. And, you know, you can't even really technically talk about any of it. Um, so all, you know, all I'll say is that um, I really, really enjoy coaching uh Corey and I you know his, his spirit his professionalism uh has been has been great uh you know great for for great to coach and great for this group um so he 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 is a pleasure to coach and I'll leave it at that um Luke I know it's the nature of the business but was it a little odd to see Corey kind of just able to come out right at the kind of tip off there and still be able to play tonight um, yeah, you know, but it, again, it, it speaks to, you know, the type of teammate he is, the type of professional he, professional he is and the type of, uh, competitor he is. So, um, we, you know, it was, it was great having, having him out there again, uh, with, with, uh, with his teammates tonight. Last question for coach Matt George. Coach, uh, Corey Joseph has, uh, or we heard De'Aaron Fox talk about what Kojo has has done for his game, helping him with his defense, his post game. We've heard uh, from Tyrese Halliburton that Kojo really took Tyrese under his wing from the very beginning. Um, what kind of an asset was Corey Joseph for you with this young group um, as as a leader, as a, a mentor in the locker room? And, and how difficult, I guess, would that be to make up for or replace or overcome? Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll talk about Corey, not how great he was, but how great he is. Um, and say that he, you know, part of the reason we really wanted to bring him here was because of that. That's what we heard about him from everyone we talked to in the league. And we knew, uh, you know, we had some young players and we wanted someone that could really anchor some of that that stuff and, and teach uh, winning habits uh, and, and teach what it's like, what it takes to be a, you know, a true professional. And, you know, he's been that every single day since he's been here. Um, I, I kid with him because he, like Tyree, he, he's really done a nice job taking Tyrese under his wing. Like he, he they drive to the airport, they do everything together. And, and uh, you know, a lot of the, the, you know, that's what the league used to be uh, a lot was, you know, vets really, you know, taking these young players and showing them the ropes and, 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 uh, and, 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 you know, teaching them and caring about them. And Corey has been all of that for us. So uh, really enjoy coaching him and having him, uh, you know, around.